Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, hopefully you all made good money because yes, our bullish flag pattern worked perfectly. To be honest, I was not expecting that kind of a big move but yes we got the move and we got the profit as well so let's look at the market for a day so first of all let's look at the economy calendar so today also we have some news so again be careful during the us session because market will be volatile again if not crazy crazy like a cpi or a nfp but still there will be some volatility so as a result you need to be careful you need to be careful with your hard earned money so you can see we have some news on uh, euro some us dollar so yes you need to be very very careful and if you look at the chart of dxy then yes dxy showed a good recovery but extreme recovery unexpected recovery and made a high of 105 right now going for correction but dxy's next move is also very very uncertain if you listen to the experts and if you read the news then you'll come to know that mostly the market is waiting for the next fomc meeting on 22nd march so till then market may remain choppy like this we may not get a particular unidirectional movement so as a result you need to be very very careful and you should be mostly looking for quick entry and exit this is not a market where you should be sleeping after taking a position okay, so you need to be very very careful and you need to be very alert as well so for the day okay, for the day there is a chance that dxy will take support around 104.27 this is the first support and the second support is around 104.08 these two are the support levels on the chart of dxy if the volatility of the market remains like this then during the asian session european session you can expect the market to take support around this area during us session if market shows extreme volatility then yes these supports will not work and you need to plan your trades accordingly in this type of market okay my dear friends in this type of market you should mostly follow the trend of the market instead of predicting the highs and lows tops and bottoms okay you should mostly follow the trend of the market because in my personal experience in my experience of last uh, nine to ten years i have seen that body language on the market changes from time to time and as a result you need to be flexible okay so my experience i have seen that whenever you will see this kind of scenario simply follow the trend of the market if you really want to survive look for quick entry and exits that is the only formula so for the day we have support around this area and the main reason why we saw a big fall on the chart of uh, so not big fall a big rise okay on the chart of gold is the bond chart. there was a huge drop on the price of bond so as a result gold showed extreme extreme bullishness and if you look at the chart of bond and the bond chart still looks very very weak and there's a possibility that bond chart will be going down further and this is the ultimate support on the chart of bond around 3.300% okay so this is the ultimate support on the chart of bond so still there is a possibility that bond will be going down if it goes down then we will see further upside on the chart of gold that, th that is what we should be focusing right now okay and this is dxy now enough talk about bond enough talk about dxy now let's talk about the chart of gold so first of all i would like to take you to the four hours time frame so on the chart of gold right now the most reliable support is around one triple eight and eighteen eighty five this is the most reliable support on the chart of coal and the second most reliable um, support is around eighteen seventy three to seventy four these two are the best supports on the chart of coal right now seventy three seventy four is the strongest support and if you want to know the reason then we have the Fibonacci into the scene 81 triple eight one triple eight one eight eight five is the level where we have fibonacci 38.2 percent retracement level as well as market bounce previously from this area 1873 74 because we have fibonacci 50 percent retracement around this area plus previous price rejection around this area here and we also have the 100 moving average coming up 
1873-74 is the best support and we have also supported 1 triple eight one double eight five. But the problem is that these two levels are far away from the current market price. So as a result, as a result, we need to switch to a lower time frame. But in case gold shows a big drop, these are the two levels you can focus. Okay. And for day trading purpose or for day traders, you need to switch to the 15 minutes time frame. So right now I have switched to 15 minutes time frame and you can see the chart has changed and the levels are also different here. For example, we have support at our 1908. This is the support on the chart of gold right now. But the problem with the support is that market formed a lower high last time. So next time, okay, listen to me carefully. Next time, if market comes down again after forming a lower high like this or like this, then there's a high chance that market will break 1908 level. If market breaks 1908 level, you can look for a sell position. This market is very, very bullish. So taking a sell is going against the trend of the market. So it can be a little bit risky. If you do not want to take the risk, then it's completely okay. But if you have the risk appetite, if you know how to manage the risk, if you know risk management, then you can go for, you can expect 30, 40 pips. So market is forming lower high. So if market forms a lower high again, then there's a possibility that market will break the 1908 level. Okay. And if market goes up from here, then where can we look for some resistance? Then we have some resistance around 1918 level, 1918 level and 1922 level. So these are the two resistances on the chart of gold right now. So if market goes up from here, if market goes up from here, then we have two levels around. 1918 and 1922 these are the two levels on the chart of gold where we can expect some reversal but the these two levels okay we have derived these two levels on the 15 minutes time frame so reliability is low see this is the common con you probably you also know it very well that um, levels from higher time frame are reliable and levels from lower time frame are less reliable and the problem is that on the chart of gold on the 15 minutes time frame we do not have any strong support Try to understand my point here. On the 15 minutes time frame, we do not have any strong support, and that's why. Okay, that's why we are unable to look for any particular strong levels. But yes, we do have resistances, but the problem is that market is an uptrend. So you need to be very, very careful, okay, while taking a sell position at the resistance. Observe the market first. Okay, if you see the price is showing rejection from above, if you see prices reversing, then only look for a sell position. Do not expect a trend reversal. Be on the safe side. Look for 30, 40 pips. Okay, I'm not saying that these levels does not have the strength. It may give a complete reversal of 100 pips also. Nobody knows. But as a trader, you need to also look at the safe process. You need to maintain the discipline. So as a result, 1922, 1918, these are the two levels on 15 minutes time frame. Market may reverse, but you need to be extra careful because market is extremely bullish. And we have also seen the chart of bond that there is still a possibility of bond market going down. If it starts going down, then um, gold will start flying. Okay, so as I always say, as I always say that you should always keep your one eye on DXY, but right now, in this time, you should keep your one eye on the chart of bond, US government bond. Okay, so bond chart will play a big role if bond starts flying. Oh, sorry, bond starts going down. Listen to me carefully. If US bond starts going down, then you will see big upside on the chart of gold. In that case, do not try to look for resistances. Simply look for buy position. If possible, just go for a 0 0.01, 0 0.02 and sit. Okay. <laughs> you can do that also. Okay. So follow the trend of the market. That is the only thing. In fact, at the starting of the video also, I told you guys clearly that in this type of market, following the trend is the best decision you can make. Because usually when when market behaves normally, technicals work nicely. You can expect an accuracy of 70, 80 percent. But in this type of market condition, the technicals fail usually. Okay, and the accuracy also drops. And we are retail traders, we do not control the fundamentals, we are stuck with technicals. So, as a result, you should know when you should be trusting your technicals, when you should not be trusting your technicals, what are the limitations, and how to adapt yourself according to the limitations.
that is it okay so please be careful okay if you want to if you want a um, total repeat okay just give me one minute let me repeat everything all at once <laughs> because i have spoken too many things for today so first of all okay on the chart of gold we have two most important support levels and those are 188185 and 187374 1873.74 is the strongest support on the chart of gold right now because of fibonacci 50 previous price rejection around the area as well as the 100 moving average coming up 18 trip one trip uh, 1888 1885 is also support because of fibo 38.2 plus market bounce previously from this area but the problem with these two supports uh, support level is that they are far away from the current market price and right now the problem is that okay if we jump to 15 minutes time frame okay we do not have any strong support zone okay we do not have any strong support zone and moreover market is also forming lower highs so that is a big problem though market is trying to take support around 18 1908 level next time if market forms a lower high and comes down then there is a high chance that market will be going for a breakdown as the overall trend of the market is towards the upside so taking a sell position means going against the trend of the market so it can be a little bit risky okay so if you want to take the risk you can go for it you can look for a sell position below 1908 if gold breaks the level 30 40 pips you can expect as i said no proper support on the chart of gold so so I'm extremely sorry. If I miss reading, please write down in the comment section. I would love to learn from. On the other hand, if market goes up, you can look for sale around 1918 level, 1922 level. But bond market is very, very weak. Okay, so as a result, if bond starts falling again, you will see good upside on the chart of gold and things will be very, very different. So as a result, for additional confirmation, before taking any sell position, look at the chart of bond. Okay, if bond starts going down, do not try to stand against the trend of the market. Try to follow the trend of the market. It will be suicidal. That's it. This is my analysis. I can be wrong as well. Bye-bye. Take care. And extremely sorry for making the video so long.